He weighed in at 125 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner from Tagbilaran City, Bohol in the Philippines. Neha underway here, round number one, scheduled for 12. It's a title eliminator. Oh boy. Six. Six. Left hooks, one after another. That's incredible. Vicious hard combination, and there's the uppercut. Out of him and myself. You know, yeah. we came from nothing. So I want to help the Filipino fighter, Seha, dig. I think the main thing for Seha and Ismail Salas is get out of this round. Let's clear. Fight with Brandon Figueroa. We saw him fight with Rigandau. And, man, he just has a lot of, every bit of that draw here. Oh, toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Final 30 seconds. Ooh. If I were talking to Seha in the corner, I'd tell him, put that right hand up. Rip through the wards. And this is the fourth time he's been knocked down. In his last eight, Sayo there, dipping down low to get out of danger. Right, you have to get in and say, this is okay. He has a special, like, sixth gear that he throws into, and that was that type of lead hook. That's the hook halfway through round number two, at least getting close to it right now. About years ago, he's been through a lot. Oh, yeah. That, and he's fought some great guys. This is where another body shot that was a little low. Sayo says so as well. And by Seha. Sure was. Landed there. Nice combination. Battles back, and now he's a little more defensively responsible. This is at 126 pounds, by the way. You know, sometimes you don't see this type of power. And just hope to see him. And he's so McSayo comes up, and he is fighting at a high, high physicality to have these weapons that he has in the ring right now at the world-class level. He wants to get inside on you, and he wants to pin you to the ropes and make a dog fight out of it. Oh, Maxayo go down to the body because he got clipped with a couple good body shots from Seha. Punches landed 41 to 39. Yeah, but Seha does so well. I really Nation, a five punch action from Maxayo. I'll fall down later. Get out of the way of Seha. Seha now with his chance. Plenty of time left in this round to do some work. You know, he's piling up points, and believe me, those body shots, like one fighter told me, because they're like, oh, you're Dennis Ugas. Right here, though, we get a little preview. Same two trainers. Jordan Plant is standing by. Jordan, what do we have? Yeah, and Seha's last fight, he missed weight by four, but he's coming forward. I want to know, guys, do you think that he survived Max Seha? Uh, you know, to Jordan's point, yeah. maybe Seha wasn't quite ready for the Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez. First time they fought, knocked him down three times in the first right. round. He just a double hook right away. I remember this is a 12-round fight, yeah. and if Seha... And once he got that opening, he let it fly. But again, Seha goes back to work. Those things really, they, you feel those. They, you know, you may not think so, but they really hurt. Look, there's a lot of champions out there, right. but Caleb Plant has a say in that division. Canelo is the champion, but Plant of Maxayo, while Seha in here to be more than just an opponent. Anybody, that's two, that's three. So he found something that worked, that's four. He's going back, you know, Underline that. Yeah. You know, you move up four pounds. One to be a ridiculous amount of weight over the top four and a half pounds. Seemed like a lot. So it's kind of a natural progression that he's at featherweight. I think you see a little blood there on the nose of Max Sayo. Now yeah. his mouth is open, and I'm telling you, this is what I was talking about with those body shots. Sayon trying to make it. Now he's got him hurt on the ropes. A little buckle in Max Sayo's legs. Like I said, it's at 12. Come November, you guys tune in. It's going to be a show. The last time we saw you, you uh, had hurt. To that November 6th, number one in the world, Canelo Alvarez against Caleb Plant. You never give no, up. No, no. And, and, and even if you go down, you got to get back up and fight hard. Bring back each man with a knockdown. Seha's using that great trick. Maybe a rib is broken. I wondered about his nose. But that's the way he bends no. over like that. It, Not a good sign. Maxile, second time in his career, knocked down. But it hasn't happened in a long time. That's five years ago. Boy, this is, this is, you, know, what, you saw what Canelo did to Rocky Field. Oh, right. Nice combination that. from that Seha. That's a bad shot right there, yeah. that liver shot. Yeah, for seven. Uh, this guy should be out of here already. I thought I was going to finish this guy off, but he did not go get his scoring on this. Larry, how do you have this? Well, guys, I got an even fight right now, 56 and 50. Seha rounds three, five, and six. Obviously, with the knockdown, you do, but Seha was already, Joe, winning some momentum right now. Uh, and look out, look out, I think look he may be... You know, I mean, on a firing off these beautiful shots, right? Rhythmic shots. Like he just did right there. He threw nice. But she's 76 to 19. Look out. Still a dangerous man. And this is a test of his will. Say how brought that upon himself. He's hurt somewhere in there. There was a nice grunt, and he held on. That body shot hurt him. That right hand of the body. Uh, for those out there who's a little younger, that's a very small area. Right, right. You don't see foam blitz. Foam battling to the body. 
and breaking down Mark Maxayo. When Sayo gets there, he's wrapping him up because he doesn't want any part of Smart that inside move, right? game. Yes, he's working off that success, and he's really got a lot more determination. Got some of the best. Good right hand by Maxayo right there. That was a long right hand as well. Less oomph on those shots from Maxayo, where Seha now, I mean, if he ate one on the on the chin. In the land from the outside, scoring there, and then not letting Seha score on the inside by He's able to touch him there. Physically, his body looks better in this fight than the last fight. To tell you the Keith Thurman. He yes. says he worked harder. Maxile sticking to that that, uh, that that game plan. I don't want to say it was the game thing. Uh, he, well, I, you could be judging it that way, and I think Seahaw's making a mistake by... Kenny Bale has a good job. Work out of that. You don't have to stop the men. You don't have to break them. Uh, wow. It's been a long day, but a really a, an exciting day, and I'm, no. uh, and I'm glad for that. Massachusetts, and here we're getting outstanding action from the unbeaten Mark Maxile, 20. Pretty well. He, he wanted to tee off there with the hook, and Seahaw just poleaxed him on the way out. All this leading up to the main event. Once again, the return of the living close. Right. They have to be an inch behind. So they may chastise and say, you know what? To Again. And now with some renewed vigor, firing off right through the shots. I'm taking a lot of. Oh, oh hard right out. Down he goes. What a shot! It's this off. is starched. Wow. What a great 